picture if you're a woman. You're walking down the city street and you're being mugged. You're at school and then suddenly you hear gunfi gunfire. Everyone who was the cause of such events, they were all young, between the ages of 16 and 21, let's say. People will automatically assume that these individuals acted in the way they did because of the one thing they all had in common, which was they played video games. Hi, I'm Christian Mintel, and I will present, be presenting how video, if video games are associated with violence or not. <clears throat> For, let's begin with a bit of history. Um, there was much controversy in, with video games back in the early 1970s, especially with this game called Death Race. The point of Death Race was you were driving around a car and you were running over these little creatures called gremlins. Now, there was much controversy with it because people thought that these little gremlins right here looked like people. And so as time has gone on, games have developed um, much more realistic and obviously bloody graphics <clears throat> and it's been considered a major source of desensitization. However, video games aren't considered the only source of desensitization. As we all know, we have modern music. Um, of course, we have the stereotype sources, rap and death metal, death metal. They're considered the top sources of desensitization, while some may have very little. But we've reached a new era, quote unquote, um, with so of sources of desensitizing music. And I'm talking more on the lines of pop with Miley Cyrus and Nicki Minaj, Miley Cyrus's song Finding Molly, which is looking for a drug, and Nicki Minaj's Dirty Dirty Ho. And the lyrics of the songs determined are a huge um, <clears throat> are a huge source of desensitization, and we gotta keep in mind the dances as well. Twerking I do not think is an appropriate dance that young people should be watching, young kids. And we also have movies and television. Movies, we have the gory movies such as Olympus Has, Has Fallen, and then we have the violent TV series. Here, I took, I took the liberty of finding an image online of a scene of a person bleeding out and murder she wrote. Nothing. Back in the, er in the early 70s and 80s, they never ever showed someone dead or dying on camera. But obviously that has changed with shows such as CSI, NCIS, etc, etc. But series nowadays, they include a, bunch, a lot of violence, drugs, and Another reason why it's desensitizing to kids is that the rating systems aren't followed. But the game itself isn't the source of, the, of violence or mis misbehavior. We have just the gaming community in general, the people who are playing the game with, the per with other people. Multiplayer games are a major source of frustration and anger. We have harassment from other players, language, taunts, threats and just frustration from team games in general. The game, um, according to whatculture.com, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is the number one game with the worst multiplayer community. League of Legends is fourth. <clears throat> Obviously, solo games can give frustration as well. Um, this video right here is, um, is a video of two people quoting different, char different players from League of Legends. League of Legends, um, you can report the different players, um, and they will be sent to the tribunal. The tribunal will um, give basically everything that was said during the game, and so you can decide whether or not to pardon or punish the person. So. Warning. Yeah, yeah. Sex is bad. Stop talking about it. When you turn 14, your body undergoes some changes, and hormones make you feel irrationally angry at things, like your jungler, for example. You're the worst teammate in the history of teammates. The Tiger Woods of marriage. The Casey Anthony of parenting. We're talking about Nixon levels of presidential behavior here. You get the idea. <clears throat> but a lot of people don't consider video games to be a major source of violence or misbehavior. In fact, many people, especially the gamers themselves, 
consider video games to be a relaxing um, tool, a tool for relaxation and just relieving stress. It, video games provide a re an escape from reality, and according to <coughs> Procon.org, in between 1995 and 2008, the sales of video games more than quadrupled, um, while the arrest rate for juvenile murders fell for, by 71.9%, and the arrest rate for all juvenile violent crimes declined 49.3% in the same period. There are possible counter-arguments to video games causing violence. Um, school shootings, um, there, have been case, there have been the cases of school shootings, but there have also been the information that the people behind the school shootings have had mental instability, such as Aaron Alexis. He had mental issues and a distorted sense of reality. <clears throat> it, <clears throat> um, people argue that video games associate pleasure with the ability to cause pain, and obviously the sense of distortion of reality. In conclusion, while video games can cause frustration and anger, it has not been directly proven to cause violence. It's still up in the air and there's much debate, and there's a lot of evidence contradi contradicting both sides. Yeah, thank you.